Did you agree with the uh, the draw decision, Matt? I thought I did enough to win. I thought I won rounds one and three. Lost round two, but thought I did enough to win. I guess they thought it was a 10-8 for him in the second round. You, you disagree with that? Uh, I, I didn't think so, but uh, I have to rewatch the fight so I can really tell. So, yeah, I just got to rewatch the fight. How do you feel after a fight like that? Lando went to the hospital, but you're here. Um, you know, uh, it was a draw, but it was, I'm, I, you know, I'm getting better. You know, uh, I did better than my first UFC fight, and, my ne and I think I did enough to earn another UFC fight, and my next UFC w fight will be better than this fight. So. Is that the kind of fight that, that both of you guys almost have, you, have your stock rise? Both of you guys end up kind of better for it? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, it was an exciting fight and uh, back and forth. And uh, I think it was fight of the night. So that'll definitely make uh, make it uh, the draw a little bit sweeter, you know. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm still going to go out there with my friends and family and watch the fights and have a smile on my face. So if it's any consolation, we were back here freaking out watching the fight. Yeah. Uh, anything that happened during the fight that you were kind of surprised by or you were kind of hoping to implement that you had a chance to? Um, no, you know, I think, uh, I knew he, he had those sneaky kicks, which he caught me with that kick. Um, I knew he was tough that he, he would take some shots and keep coming back. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I just, I thought, I thought I did enough to win. I thought I won round rounds one and three and that's a win right there. But I guess with this new judging, I, I got to rewatch these fights or we watch this fight and see round two, but, uh. In the end of the day, I did enough to, uh, I, you know, I proved myself. I think, uh, you know, the world kind of knows knows what I'm about a little bit now. And uh, and I'm, you know, looking forward to getting back to training and uh, getting ready for the next fight. Did you expect him to throw that many head kicks? Uh, uh, yeah, I knew he was going to throw kicks. I knew he was going to throw kicks. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I, I think he took me down. I'm kind of pissed about that. But, uh, yeah, it was good. I think he underestimated your striking going into the spot. Yeah, I definitely do. I, I think he didn't give me any respect, and that kind of lit a fire under my ass. And uh, I think a lot of people didn't give me any respect. And uh, I think I went out there, and I, I earned the respect for the peop from the people. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I know what I'm capable of, and pretty soon the world will know. You mentioned in the quotes that you wanted to run this thing again. You believe if this fight happens again, that you'll beat him. Talk to us a little bit about that. Is that have you spoken to anyone about that yet? Is that the plan that you want next? Um, I haven't spoken to anyone about that, but yeah, I think that our paths will cross again. But in the end of the day, I'm just happy that I proved myself that I deserve another fight in the UFC and right back to training and right back to uh, whoever, you know, whoever it is, whenever it is, I'll be ready and ready to go out there and show what I'm, uh, what I'm about and whether it's him, whether it's someone else, but I think that our paths will cross again. There was a fan section in the <coughs> arena dedicated to you. They yeah, were all yeah. standing up for the whole fight. So people sitting behind them might've had a bit of a rough time during that one. Yeah. What does it feel like to have this kind of support? I mean, they were there during the weigh-ins there during the, the fight yelling screaming trying to cheer you on yeah I, that's that's my friends my family i mean i, I love those guys and they, they've been with me since uh the amateur days since the early promotional days and they'll be with me to the end so i'm about to go and join them out and enjoy the rest of those fights watch uh my boy weidman uh handle business and uh have a great night how are you feeling though i mean like you think we'll go back to training hour? You beat up, you bruised. It's just, it's just like a day in the park for you. What's going on? <laughs> uh, no, I feel, I feel. I mean, I guess my face is a little messed up, but uh, no, I feel fine. Like my hands good, and my uh, my knees are good. Um, yeah, I feel good. You know, I'm I'm going to St. Martin next week, so I'll be pretty. Uh, I'll be chilling on the beach for a little bit, and then uh, and I'll be back to training. This is what I do. You know, I wake up and I train. I love this shit. So yeah, I'm back to training. Congratulations. Why not congratulations? Have a fight, I guess. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, thanks guys. Matt.